Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics, and in this video I'm going to talk about light and about color. If we look around us, the most important light source is the sun, and the sun is making white light, and that white light doesn't uh, contain white light, it contains all colors, and you can see it when a white light is shown upon a prism like this. So the white light is shown upon a prism, and then you see that all these colors are inside this white light. You probably recognize this as the rainbow, you see this in the nature, when, the, uh, when it's raining and the sun is shining, then the water drops are uh, reflecting the light inside of them, and then the rainbow appears. And the rainbow shows you that all the colors uh, are inside this white light, and that's important. So it's important to know that white light contains all colors. Uh, here you can see such a prism, uh, this is on my table, you can see the sunlight hitting it, and you see that there is a rainbow inside. So all these colors are inside white light, that's very important, because of that we can see colors as they truly are. If we for instance have this blue surface, then we can see this blue surface only when light is shown upon it. So if we have white light, and the white light is shining upon the blue surface, then we can see that it's blue. So we need to know that white light contains all these colors, and all these colors hit the blue surface, uh, and only blue is reflected, because the blue surface absorbs all colors except of blue. The blue light is reflected, and because it's a reflected, you can see it as blue. A red surface does something similar, but not with blue, but with red. So if we have white light shining upon a red surface, then we see that only red is reflected. So a red surface absorbs all colors but red. So red light is reflected, and that's why we see it as a red surface. But it's very important that it gets the red light. If it doesn't get this red light inside the white, then it will not be able to reflect it and we won't see it. On a white surface, when white light is shown up in, on it, you will see that all colors are reflected. Because a white surface absorbs, absorbs no colors, all colors are reflected. So all the colors inside this white, as we will see this as white, are uh, reflected from the white surface, and you will see them all together, and if they are all together, then we will see it as white. That's why a white surface appears to be white. If we have a black surface, then black is the opposite of white. So no colors are reflected, so a black surface absorbs all colors, so no light is reflected, and that's why we see it as black. So black is the, isn't actually a color, if you look at uh, physics, it's the absence of light. So all the light which has hit the black surface has been absorbed, nothing is reflected, so that's why we see it as black. Now something strange, we have now a green surface, and we have blue light. So instead of all the colors in white light, we have only blue light. So if blue light hits a green surface, then you can see that nothing is reflected. Because a green surface absorbs the blue light and all other colors except of green. So no light is reflected, because it doesn't get green light. If it would get green light from the light source, then it would reflect it, but it doesn't get it, so it cannot reflect it, and it cannot make its light on its own. Then it would be a light source, and then it would make it light on its own, but it doesn't. So you will not see the green surface, so it will appear black. Another example is when you have a blue surface and you have red light. So you have a pure red light source, it hits the blue surface, the blue surface wants to reflect only blue, it cannot reflect the red light, so the blue surface absorbs, oh sorry, yeah, the blue surface absorbs the red light, and no light is reflected. So again, you will see this as black. So that was an introduction into light and colors. You should now know that white light actually contains all colors, and that it's very important to see objects with it. In my next video, I'm going more in depth about the mixing of light colors and what for effect that will have on seeing colors uh, on objects. Uh, but for now, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please let me know by liking, and of course, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.